It's hard to watch someone we love struggle with the pain of loneliness, rejection, or disappointment. You want to encourage them with the hope that you've experienced in God, but often fear can keep you from sharing those words. Fear that they'd brush off the faith that means so much to you. Sharing our faith means risking rejection, something I think keeps many of us from telling those that we love about Jesus. But sometimes we have to take that risk because of how much it matters. The stakes for speaking the truth were really high in Stephen's case. He'd been arrested on the testimony of false witnesses and brought before the religious court. The punishment for the crime he was accused of was death. When asked point blank whether the charges were true, Stephen didn't shy away with the denial of the charges or even try to explain how the accusations distorted the truth to get himself off the hook. Instead, in Acts chapter 7, Stephen took the opportunity to boldly outline in great detail how Jesus fulfilled God's promises throughout history. Stephen cared enough to tell the truth to those who held the power to convict him, and that brave act did, in fact, cost Stephen his life. Rarely will telling someone about Jesus cost us so much, and most of the time we're not answering an accuser, yet we're still tempted to hold back out of self-preservation and to avoid the risk of rejection. When we see someone struggling with loneliness, confusion, grief, or fear, we can and should offer our compassion and support. But we can also, like Stephen, summon the courage to offer more. We can offer the life-giving comfort and guidance of a relationship with God.